Hello everyone, this is Jasmine from DL School. Today we are discussing a few everyday phrases or EDMs which can be used for your IELTS speaking test. Now, having a knowledge about everyday phrases or EDMs is extremely important as idiomatic expressions carry scores in your speaking. Apart from that, it can also be shown in your listening. So having some knowledge about these everyday phrases is crucial. So let's discuss a few. The first one which we are discussing is break a leg, break a leg. Now, imagine you are having a conversation with a native English speaker and you have given him a particular information that you are going for an interview right now after having this cup of coffee. Now, just before departing, this person says, go break a leg. Now, imagine you don't know the meaning of this particular everyday phrase or idiom, there is a high probability that you might misunderstand his information. You might think that why is this person behaving so rudely? But only if we know the meaning of this idiom, do we understand that this person is actually wishing you luck. Go break a leg means good luck. It's a way of saying best of luck. So remember, break a leg means good luck. Another everyday phrase which we can be using is, it's on me, it's on me. Imagine you are having a meal with your friends or you have decided to go for a meal or for a celebration and you say that it's on me. It's on me means you are going to pay for it. It's on me. Today's breakfast is on me, which means you are the person who has taken that up, who, are, who have planned to pay for it. It's on me. Another phrase which is related to the situation is to go Dutch. To go, to go Dutch means to share the expenses together. Imagine uh, you along with three of your friends, four of you are sharing a particular meal at a restaurant. And if we say, let's go Dutch, which means let's go Dutch. It means all of you, that means the four of you are going to pay for it equally. For example, if the, the amount of the food is uh, say 2000 rupees, so all of you are going to contribute 500 rupees for that particular meal. That's the meaning of let's go Dutch, go Dutch. Next is hit the sack, hit the sack. Now imagine if you don't know the meaning of this idiom. If someone says after the long tiring day, I just chose to hit the sack. Hit the sack means to go to bed, to go to bed. It means after the long and tiring day, I chose not to do anything extraordinary or something really tiring. I just chose to go to bed and relax. I just chose to hit the sack. So here we've discussed a few idioms. Now here we've discussed just a few. It is extremely crucial that you use certain phrases like these to, for your speaking and having an information about such everyday phrases is extremely important as it can be shown to us in our listening as well. In our listening module, there could be dialogues shown. So if the other person says, it's on me, we must understand that that person is going to pay for it because our question should question maybe ask that who's the person who's going to pay for it. So it's important that we understand the meaning of that everyday phrase. So that's it for today. Thank you everyone.